Michelle Obama isn't a trans woman. Here's why some people believe otherwise. Michelle Obama is one of the most admired and influential women in the world. She is a former First Lady of the United States, a best-selling author, a lawyer, an activist, and a role model for millions of people. She is also a cisgender woman, meaning that her gender identity matches the sex she was assigned at birth. However, some people have been spreading false and malicious rumors that she is actually a trans woman, meaning that she was assigned male at birth and transition to female later in life. These rumors are not only baseless and disrespectful, but also harmful to the trans community and the fight for equality and acceptance. Where did these rumors come from? And why do some people believe them? In this blog post, we will explore the origins and motivations of this conspiracy theory, as well as debunk some of the common claims and evidence that are used to support it. The origins of the rumor. The rumor that Michelle Obama is a trans woman seems to have started around 2008, when Barack Obama was running for president. Some of his political opponents and critics tried to undermine his credibility and popularity by spreading lies and misinformation about him and his family. One of these lies was that Michelle Obama was born as Michael Lavon Robinson and that she underwent sex reassignment surgery in the 1980s. This claim was based on nothing but fabricated documents, Photoshop images, and wild speculation. Some of the sources that propagated this rumor were websites and blogs that are known for promoting conspiracy theories, racism, homophobia, transphobia, and other forms of bigotry. For example, one of the earliest websites to publish this story was The Globe magazine, a tabloid that has also claimed that Elvis Presley is alive, that Hillary Clinton is a lesbian, and that Barack Obama is a Muslim. Another website that spread this rumor was World Net Daily, a far-right news site that has also promoted brotherism, QAnon, and other fringe theories. The Motivations of the Believers Why do some people believe this rumor, despite the lack of credible evidence and the abundance of contradictory facts? There are several possible reasons, but they all boil down to one thing, prejudice. Some people who believe this rumor are motivated by racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, or a combination of these. They cannot accept or respect Michelle Obama as a successful and powerful black woman who is married to a former president, who is also black. They want to discredit her achievements and undermine her dignity by implying that she is not a real woman, or the man who is pretending to be one. They also want to insult and mock the trans community by using their identity as a weapon and a joke. Some people who believe this rumor are also motivated by political bias or conspiracy thinking. They distrust or dislike Barack Obama and his policies, and they see Michelle Obama as an extension of him. They are willing to believe anything that casts doubt on his legitimacy or integrity. They also enjoy being part of a secret group that knows the truth that the mainstream media and the government are hiding from them. They feel superior and smarter than the rest of the society that they perceive as naive or brainwashed. The debunking of the claims. What are some of the common claims and evidence that are used to support this rumor? And how can we debunk them? Here are some examples. Claim, Michelle Obama has an Adam's apple, which is a sign of being born male. Debunk, this claim is based on a misunderstanding of human anatomy. An Adam's apple is not exclusive to men. It is simply a protrusion of the thyroid cartilage in the neck. Women can also have an Adam's apple, especially if they have a long or thin neck. Michelle Obama's neck shape may make her thyroid cartilage more visible, but it does not mean that she is a trans woman. Claim, Michelle Obama has broad shoulders, large hands, and muscular arms, which are signs of being born male. Debunk, this claim is based on a stereotype of what women should look like. Women can have different body shapes and sizes, depending on their genetics, lifestyle, diet, exercise, age, etc. Michelle Obama's physique may be more athletic or muscular than some other women's, but it does not mean that she is a trans woman. She has been open about her fitness routine and healthy habits, which contribute to her strength and endurance. Claim, Michelle Obama has male genitalia, which can be seen in some photos or videos where she wears tight clothing. Debunk, this claim is based on optical illusions or deliberate manipulation of images or videos. There is no evidence that Michelle Obama has male genitalia. In fact, there is evidence that she does not. She has given birth to two daughters, Melia and Sasha, which would be impossible if she had male genitalia. She has also been seen in swimsuits or dresses that reveal her feminine curves and features. The photos or videos that supposedly show her male genitalia are either distorted by the angle, the lighting, the clothing, or the editing. 
claim Michelle Obama admitted that she is a trans woman in a speech or an interview. Debunk this claim is based on misquoting, misinterpreting, or fabricating her words. There is no record of Michelle Obama ever saying that she is a trans woman or anything close to that. The videos or transcripts that claim to show her confession are either taken out of context, edited, or falsified. For example, one video that went viral showed her saying I'm a single mother in a speech, but the full sentence was believe me, as a busy single mother, or I shouldn't say single, as a busy mother. She was not implying that she was single or divorced, but that she felt like one when her husband was away. She quickly corrected herself and laughed at her mistake. The conclusion, Michelle Obama is not a trans woman. She is a cisgender woman who has been married to Barack Obama for almost 30 years and has two biological daughters with him. She is also a remarkable and inspiring person who has accomplished many things in her life and has made a positive impact on the world. The rumor that she is a trans woman is nothing but a lie that is fueled by hatred and ignorance. It is not only disrespectful to her and her family, but also to women as a whole. We should not believe or spread this rumor, but instead celebrate and support Michelle Obama and all the women and trans people who are making a difference in our society.